Every day I come here and I sit next to you and I'm like, wow, he smells. Every day I come here and I sit next to you and I think, wow. Now I've already cut you off, it's okay. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reactions, Ian. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Twitter! It's so juicy. Twitter account. Ring the bell and part of the notification squad. Ring it, Rick. And today, what are we doing? I'm just a little bit behind. You're a little behind. And today we're reacting to a video, it's called Gordon Ramsay. Okay. I love Gordon Ramsay. Cooks Indian street food for the locals. We love Gordon Ramsay. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, this is fantastic. Look, it's... Love Gordon Ramsay. Looks like it. I mean, I, I don't know who doesn't love Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay's amazing. Yeah. Uh, I love how he just cusses at everybody. You know who doesn't love Gordon Ramsay? That's one of my favorite things about his show when he goes into kitchens and, and restaurants to try to help them. Mm -hmm. It always astonishes me that he shows up to these places that are no-name places, offers his expertise, and these people have the unmitigated gall mm -hmm. as to question him. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting though, because he's cooking it for the locals. Oh. And so obviously- I, This is great. We know, we know he, he's a really good cook, but like, cook authentic Indian right. food and that they would be impressed with? Yeah. Would you like to watch it with him? Yeah. This uh. Hi. The cuties are here now. This is, she's a big fan of Gordon Ramsay, so she heard uh, that we were doing it and I knew she would want to watch as well. And this is, this is a very touching moment for me because this is the first time I've done a reaction with your son and your wife. I know, it's yeah. much better without you. That's true. Here we go. <laughs> One week ago, I set off on an adventure into the wilds of the Northeast of India to track down the fabulous dishes that are unique to this. The Northeast is very special and it's, sort of the opposite to what I expected. I've discovered that the food is completely different to any of the Indian classics I've cooked before. You know, there's no garam masala. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no powders. It's all fresh, fragrant, very little spice. Now I've flown back to Calcutta, where I'm about to put my neck on the line. Northeastern curries have never been sold on these streets before. I'm going to use everything I've learned to create dishes that will show this city what has been missing. Doing this in Calcutta? Heck yeah. It's the crack of dawn, and I'm up early to join the other street cooks already preparing for a busy Dang. lunch. Oh, that. D-Day, now the street's starting to get busy. Everyone's starting to sort of get themselves organized. And there's a really nice smell already, so the heat is on. There's a definitive smell to Calcutta that's freaking awesome. With over 135,000 stalls, my competition is going to be tough. My Northeast curries need to be good enough to turn customers away from their tried and tested favorites. Wow. Well, you're also They wouldn't have friend. seen or discovered food like this before, exactly. so I just hope in the hell that they don't turn their nose up against it because they don't recognize, oh, well, that's not sort of what we're used They're to. They're gonna come over out of interest just to see this white And I've hired some local lads to help me out. How are you? Good to see you. Excellent. And this is? And it's Ayo. Ayo, Tapan and Ayo. Sagu. Sagu. Zagat. Are you sure they're not bunking off school? No. No, no. definitely. He's not. I need that of him. Okay. <laughs> First thing, yeah, I need um, uh, the fire lighting. Yeah. I'm going to draw on the unique flavors of the Northeast to create three delicious curries. My first is chicken and green papaya, inspired by the winning recipe at the cooking competition. It will have that classic Assamese sour tang that the locals won't be used to. Green papaya helps it not just soften the chicken but marinate it. it also gives that really nice tart flavour. I'm going to make a fish curry using the dried bamboo shoot from Nagaland. It's something of an acquired taste and I don't know how it'll go down here. This combination of a sort of bay leaf stroke lemongrass with a little hint of licorice. First time for you, I'm so pleased. <laughs> My final dish is a northeastern take on vegetable curry. Instead of using dried spices, I'm using fresh ones, making a more subtle flavor. Fish with a puree of sesame seeds. Almost thick in the vegetable curry with a sesame seed paste. So and then, after that, the and see Gordon Ramsay cook the paste. Just one last thing to do before I open my stall. I am sweating like a pig. I look like a pig. I stink like a pig. Right, then we get changed. Okay. 
সেটা হবে নিশ্চয়ই ভালো কিন্তু বাইক থেকে যারা এসছেন তাহলে তো নিশ্চয়ই ভালো কিন্তু ভালো তো I suppose it's uh, it's equivalent. I know you're chef wise. I tell you what, it's a lot cooler. Huh? Nothing wrong with your commander in the midday sun. <laughs> Time to see if my take on the northeast curries can win over Calcutta's foodies. Excellent. You must stress that it's from the northeast. You must tell them that. Tell me how it's. I'll show you a color. I'll show you a color. I'll show you a color. My color. We're not going to lose anything. No, 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 no. Here we go. Who's first? Chicken, one. Okay, good. First one, I've done good. Thank you. Aww. Chicken one is coming now. Let's go. Fish bread. Serve me, sir. Keep the next one. Maybe he's giving them the money. Yeah. Obviously, he doesn't need the money. No. In my opinion, yeah, he may be doing it for free. Really? That's what I want. Let's go, let's go, let's go! And the food is very good. And uh, the, 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 I have the face with bamboo shoots. It's very tasty. Bamboo. Cooks. Looks tasty. The green papaya, thank you. Yes, yes. Chicken papaya has gone down a storm. Extraordinary. It was very good. I never tasted a bamboo. And the vegetables and these are really good. Last chicken. Last leg. Last leg. That's <laughs> like that <laughs> barely there about 50 minutes. No, the last of the chicken papaya gone, my fish and vegetable curries quickly set out too. Sir, thank you. That is now officially Gordon Ramsay's Calcutta Cafe closed. Finish! It's been a great day. I've enjoyed myself, and judging by the reaction, my curry has been a success. What a shock! Not a surprise. Seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand, two thousand. So this is seven hundred fifty. Yeah. Woo! That, my son, is a good morning's work. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Every people say the food is excellent. To them? Yeah, definitely. Everybody said that. But there's one person's opinion that really matters. Food writer Nandon's arrived to give me his verdict. Uh, Indian food crate? I got it. Yourself. How are you doing? Very well. How are you? Wearing pants? How was your week? I'm my uh, week. So what did you cook up today? So today we did a, um, a take on a chicken uh, with green papaya. We did an amazing uh, fish curry. I saved a little portion because I was getting slightly worried. No wonder you sold out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Believe me. You happy with that? Not only that, you have actually succeeded in doing something many people would have said is impossible. Yeah. Well done. Very kind. <laughs> very well done. Thanks, very well done. I look ridiculous and I must have lost half my body weight in sweat. But I've proved that curries of the northeast of India are worth shouting about. I, I thought my first week in India was a eye-opener. This one was a shock, I think because it's hard to believe that exists. It was almost like you weren't in India. The culture is equally as exciting as the food. Just an amazing eye-opener. The simplicity, the concentration of great ingredients, and not pissing around with it. India's helped me to become, you know, not just, you know, a proper chef. I've never, I was never out of that bracket, but it, it's helped me to confirm what I love doing mm. more than anything. Can we top that? I doubt it. But I can't fucking wait to try. There it is. <laughs> I was like, there's a severe lack of cussing, cussing in this. It's Gordon Ramsay. That's, that's why I love me some Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I love his heart. Yeah. Me, me too. Well, he's like, he, he's essentially um, grumpy from uh, Snow White, who became a chef. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, and no, it is. It's his heart. Everything he does, even when he gets <coughs> when he gets pissed off, it's coming from a place in his heart. He cares so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, he's full of himself. <laughs> but that's well, he, that's part of the charm. Well, he's he I knows. Think, yeah, but that means he's full of himself. I'm not I'm saying that in a good thing. When you know you're good at something, you're full of yourself because you know it. Well, I don't think he's full of himself. Yeah, because that sounds like he's just, arrogant. I think he just knows this is his I craft. Think, I, I I I'm agreeing with you. But yeah, I don't think that's a bad thing. That's what I'm saying. 
I, I enjoy the fact that he's full of himself and that he knows that how good he is. Yeah, well, there's a certain... Because full of himself sounds like he's puffed up, which would be arrogant versus being confident. Agree to disagree. That's fine. <laughs> but, so yeah, I was, I was wondering if he was being subdued because he was an idiot and not um, cussing as much. Because I'm used to him, just everything that happens, oh, fuck. Oh, I know, everything. <laughs> and that's what I, have you seen the video of, they edit it together to make it sound like he's talking dirty? No. Well, I'll have to show it well, to you later. fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they edit one of his videos together, and so, like, everything he says, everything in the video sounds completely dirty. <laughs> it's funny. It's it? hilarious. It's funny. But yeah, it sounds like he's done quite a few videos in India. Um, yeah, yeah, you heard about a week prior. A week yeah, so if there's more that we should be watching with Gordon Ramsay we want in it. India, we want to let us know down below. And any other famous chefs from anywhere in the mm -hmm. world that we would know mm -hmm. who are there and trying out either yeah. the cooking or the tasting. No, I need Indian food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Proper Indian food. What do you think? Pretty good. Did you like hey, it? that's Michael's line. Did you like it? So, Dad, I'm not on solid food yet. <laughs>